The only hope of a cure rested with one young wizard, sent out to scour the earth for precious ingredients. After many years, he returned with an antidote. The king's sons, Princess Dick and Dom, were the first to be cured. And the last to be cured. They were banished from the kingdom, along with their trusty mage, Manitol, and light-fingered servant, Lutin. All never to return until they had collected the ingredients to remake the antidote. And so, the legend of Dick and Dog had begun. Why do you always get to read the next item off the scroll? Because, because I'm the eldest! Yeah, by like seven seconds. Yes, and he never lets anyone forget it. Ah, look! One legged dwarf running a purple griff. Where? Gotcha! Wait, that's not fair! <laughs> and the next item on the list is. Dandruff. Dandruff? Oh, and that when you get that white flaky stuff in your hair? Yes, yes, I have a minor dandruff problem myself. <laughs> 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 But this is not any old dandruff, no. This is the dandruff from the shimmering golden hair of Princess Gladys of Weefenshire. Did you say P Princess G G Gladys of Wee 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 Weefenshire? Yeah, but he said it quicker. <sighs> I've been in love with her for years. Princess Gladys. Oh, yeah, you keep that picture of her shoved up your jumper, don't you? <laughs> <gasps> Come on, then, give us the pictures. No. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, calm, let's have a look at this hot babe of yours. Mm. OK. Oh, beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she's quite a looker. <laughs> if only I was 90 years younger. It's a shame you're rubbish at talking to girls, Dom. I am not! Oh, yeah. Well, hello, Dom. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take Princess Gladys' hand in marriage, okay? So it sounds good. You get a hand, we get the dandruff for the potion. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget, these princesses are usually well rich. You can rescue her, and at the same time, we can nick like all her jewels and treasure and stuff. Where do we find this Princess Gladys? Ah, that's easy. Oh, so you just happen to know where she is, do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one tiny princess in the whole of Bottom World. No, I'm about to get an email telling me. What is an email? Email for Prince Dom. Stands for elf mail. Late as usual! Oh, yeah, whatever. Get this delivered weekly. It's for princes looking for love. It gives you the location of every eligible princess in the whole of Bottom World. Oh, modern technology. Mm -hmm. It's all a bit too high-tech for an old wizard like me. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, uh, Princess Doris? Princess Frank? Ah, Princess Gladys? Locked up in the evil two-towered castle of the Dancing Dolphins of Doom? Oh, not the evil two-towered castle of the Dancing Dolphins of Doom. Doom! I've heard of these Dancing Dolphins of Doom. Oh, they are renowned for their vicious ferocity and their devious cunning and their love of a good barn dance. A barn dance? Mm. What, take your partner by the hand and all that malarkey? Exactly. Yeah. Quite partial to one myself. <laughs> Many a lady has marvelled at my do si -do. These dancing dolphins of doom sound really scary. Why don't we pass on this one? Besides, dolphins don't even have any pockets, which makes it really difficult to nick their wallets. Lutin, we need to get Princess Stannis's dandruff for the potion. And we're princes. We go around rescuing princesses from castles. It's what we do. It's kind of the rules. I suppose. Onward, friends, to the evil dolphin castle tutor. Look, can we just call it the evil castle? I mean, life's too short, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. And so, Princes Dick, Dom and the other two trekked for many days and many nights in their quest for the evil two-towered castle of the Dancing Dolphins of Doom. Just face it, you have no idea where we are, do you? Yep, we're so lost. Look, that is utter rubbish. We are definitely somewhere here on this map. This is a map of the whole of Bottom World. And your point is? Well, why 
Why don't we just ask somebody for directions? No, there's no need for that. Besides, who are we going to ask? Let's ask that young fellow down there. <laughs> Can't ask him, he's nuts. A typical bloke never wants to ask anyone for directions. Yeah, but he's barking. <laughs> Did you see? Well, there's no one else around, is there? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> leave it to me, leave it to me. <clears throat> How many have you got today? Nah, you're the fifth. Uh, that's very good, very good. <laughs> yes. I'm actually completely sane. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. So, why are you out here, all alone, in the middle of nowhere, wearing nothing but them old rags? Oh, what can I say? I like my own company. I'm not surprised smelling like that. The way I smell is an expression of my individuality and belief in personal freedom. I don't get many visitors, so I figure why not go au naturel? <laughs> Listen, listen, we're a bit lost. Well, I wouldn't say lost exactly. Yeah, we're lost. Yeah, well, we are after the evil two towered castle of the dancing dolphins of doom. Oh, yes, the evil twin towered castle of the dancing dolphins of doom. Well, you could go that way. Okay. You, you, you carry on in that direction all the way down the valley uh, until you reach the large oak tree. Large oak tree. Yeah, then turn right and then turn left at the stream. Follow the stream all the way down to the smelly forest. Don't go through the smelly forest. It stinks! Go all the way around the edge until you reach the bridge that crosses the ravine of desolation. Then go up the hill, down the hill, through the next valley until you reach a large stone. Then go left, then right, then right, then left, the right, the left, right. Then, then follow the track until you go over the second bridge and then you get into a field and then you'll see the evil two-towered castle of doom right in front of you. Ah, uh, right. Cheers, mate. Yeah, thanks for your help. No problem. So our intrepid adventurers continued their long journey to the evil two-towered castle of the dancing dolphins of doom. I thought you might like to see the scenic route. Well, we wanted to get to the evil two-towered castle! Yeah, I know. So why have you sent us in completely the wrong direction? I did... You didn't? No, it's, uh, just there. What a complete waste of our time! I mean, not really. I mean, think of all the exercise. Why, you... <laughs> no, no! <laughs> look! Look! Up there in the window of one of the two towers! Princess Gladys! Blimey, she's tiny! You idiot, she's just really far away! Oh, my. <sighs> Say hi to the princess for me! <laughs> so, all we have to do is get inside the castle door, creep past the dancing dolphins of doom, climb up the tower, rescue the princess, and escape! That way, we get her dentist with the potion, and I get to marry her. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Ugh, it's locked. Uh, Lucy? Nah, they've gotten them new fangled mega bolt double cog triple ratchet combination multi lever latches. What does that all mean? It's locked. <clears throat> I could uh, perform my legendary. Open sesame smell! No, no yeah. you couldn't. Last time you did that, you legendarily turned us into parrots. Yeah, I was finding feathers in unusual places for months after that. Hmm, <sighs> we could try. We could try... the doorbell. Yeah, right, like that's gonna work. <laughs> ah, you must be one of the dancing dolphins of doom. Can we come to your evil castle, please? I think that was a no. <sighs> so how are we going to get in there? I mean, look at the height of these walls. <laughs> oh. 
What was that? Who are you then? I am Sumacho of Six Pack Shark. Yeah. <clears throat> Heroic knight, renowned adventurer, and possessor of the shiniest, bounciest mane of man hair in all of Bottom World. Hi, I'm Luton. Love the expensive jewellery. Hello, milady. Methinks you've stolen me heart. Yes. And your ring. Just a second, Sir Macho. What are you doing here, then? Well, according to this latest elf mail, a certain Princess Gladys is locked up in the tower of this evil castle. So I intend to rescue the little lady and make her my blushing bride. What? Hang on! But I'm here to rescue her and make her my blushing bride! I don't think so. You see, rescuing princesses is a man's job, and you look like a bit of a sissy weakling mummy's boy loser to me. What did you just call me? Sissy weakling mummy's boy loser. Yeah! <laughs> Not to mention the fact your hair's awful. Right! Come on, then! You want a piece of this little mummy's boy? You and me, right now, sir Nacho! All right, all right. Uh, I can see you're a man of conviction, so I have a suggestion. All right, let's hear it. How about if we join forces to rescue the princess and then we let her decide whether she wants to marry me? <laughs> Or, uh, or you. Hey, what do you think? Mm. I reckon go for it, yeah. After all, we just need the potion. The dandruff's the potion. Exactly. And of course, let's face it, Princess Gladys, she's gonna choose me over Mr. Ponzi Pants over there, isn't she? Yes. What do you think, Luton? What? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, then. You and me, as a team, and then we'll let the princess choose her husband. Deal. Deal. Right, first things first, how are we going to get into this evil two-towered castle? Well, the front door's a no-go. We tried that one. People, people, please. You're in the presence of an expert at rescuing princesses from evil castles. Who? <laughs> me? No, me, you old coot. Samacho really is the best in the business. Already liberated 30 little ladies this year alone. Mm. So, can't get in through the front door. So my train of thought is... We're going to have to go in over the battlements. Those dolphins of doom look like trouble to me. Um, I've got a head for height. Is there any way we could tunnel under? No, oh, please. Dolphins don't scare me. I am, of course, an accomplished climber. Follow me if you dare. Pant wetters. Ah. Is he always this annoying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Should be up here in no time. One foot. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody got a moist towelette? <laughs> well, we can't get through the door, we can't climb the walls. How are we going to get in? I could magic us a spell to transport us over the walls. No, not a spell. Anything but a spell. Transportium levitatum! Manitum! Broccoli floaty monkey magicum! <laughs> I never thought I'd say it's but one of your spells has actually worked! I know! It's brilliant! I think I landed on my staff. Oh. Well, we're in the castle. There's the princess in that tower. And there's the entrance right over. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh. Those dolphins of doom look pretty scary to me. Yes. 
The little blighters are right between us and the Princess's Tower. We might have to take them on in hand to fin combat. Oh, no, that's madness. The dolphins of Duma are renowned to be deadly fighters. We would never win. We're outnumbered as well. There's got to be another way to get through there. Wait a sec. Aren't they the dancing dolphins of Doom, yeah? That's right, yeah. And Manitol, didn't you say they had a love for a great barn dance? So the legend goes, yes. I think I've got a plan. A five, six, seven, eight. Barn dance music. Nice one, Linton. Rubbish dances, aren't we? Oh, 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 oh. working. Right, now's our chance. It's locked. Yeah. There's no key. Oh, just stand aside. Oh, well, uh, I'll have it done in no time whatsoever. I'd be careful oh. if I was you, Sumacho. That door looks pretty <laughs> solid. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I think I've just dislocated my. I'm fine. Oh. I'm fine. Hey, I've got an idea. Huh? Where did our father always keep the spare key to the family castle? I'm, I'm in the doormat! <laughs> Hey! Get get them! Just get it! That is one good looking filly. Princess, I've wasted my whole life for this moment. You are more beautiful in real life than I could ever have possibly been. <laughs> what about time? I've given up on you lot. So, which one of you's my lucky future husband then? Um, um, Come on, boys. Don't be shy. I've been locked in this tower for years and I'm desperate to get hitched. Look, I'm not marrying her. She looks absolutely nothing like she does on her portrait. See? Blatant false advertising. Well, I'm not marrying her either. I once fought a fat ape's mother that was more attractive than that. Listen to yourselves. Looks on everything. It's in a beauty deep down what counts. No, it's keeping your breakfast deep down when you look at her. What counts? Friends, mm. friends, let's remember what's important here. We need to acquire the princess's dandruff with mm. the potion. Yeah, I mean, no one really needs to marry the old boiler. Good point. Princess, I'm sorry, but there's been a terrible mix-up, and we can't marry you because... Uh, because we're... Already married. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, yes. Exactly. Do you ever do marry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we could do with some dandruff from your shimmering golden hair for our magic potion, if that's okay. <laughs> no. Why not? Well, for a start, I don't have dandruff. Oh, but huh? Princess Gladys, we... Did you, what, what, mm, uh, what did you just call me? Princess Gladys. I'm not Princess Gladys. You're not? I'm Princess Gloria. Uh, Gladys is my sister. Beautiful face. Nasty dandruff. Uh, no wonder the old pilchard looks nothing like a portrait. Uh, I am still here, you know. Uh, and where would we find Princess Gladys? Well, she's locked up in the other tower. Oh, of course. It is the evil two-towered castle. The wrong tower. Well, it is an easy mistake to make, I suppose. Gotta go. See ya. Yeah. Wait! What about my wedding? Come back here! Oh, men! They're all the blooming same! No class whatsoever! Uh. 
Blimey, they're still going! to you, um, Sir Macho and Prince Don. Uh, which of these fellows will you marry? Um, take your time. <laughs> mm. oh. Tricky one. Mm. Mm. Hello. OK, mm. I've made my decision. Prince Don. Mm. You're a really good-looking guy. He is. You are the lady. And you'd make a wonderful husband. Hey, Crunchy Nachos, looks like she's picked a winner. Why, you little... Actually, I have. Uh... And the winner is... Sir Macho! Get it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, Dom, I just couldn't resist his luxuriant mane of gorgeous, shiny man hair. So dandruff-free. Mm. <gasps> I'm a big man. No, you're not. You're only four foot two. Ah. Princess Gladys, I can accept your decision on one condition. Can you ask me a dandruff? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, I don't think so, old boy. Oh, go on. Give us some of your dandruff. Now, look. I won this whole princess fair and square. I'm not leaving any of her behind, including any little tiny flaky pieces of dandruff. Gladdy, baby, we're out of here. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> So long, losers. Quick, get out to them! So we can get out of here. That is just crazy. So it was the same, isn't it, Gladys? Yeah, yeah. You get rescued by the handsome prince and never me. Well, it's the story of my life. Well, there may be a reason for that potato face. Fine, you smile, little <laughs> madam. Madam, Gladys and I here are just about to leave, so if you'll excuse us. Yes. Uh, we were just leaving too. Yeah, you know one's just leaving until I get what I want. What, a replacement, Ed? No. A husband. Oh, alas, madam, I'm already spoken for, I fear, but uh, the little fella's available at the back there. <laughs> Oh, I know. We, 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 no, 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 no. I don't want to marry him. I want to marry that one. I'm too young and innocent to get married. I haven't even kissed a girl. Yeah, well, we'll soon do something about that. Come here, Ed. Help! I'm being taken out. Get off. It's my brother. Hey, fellas, it's like the face. Come here, you know. Something the man. Oh, come on. Oh, I... Derek, music, please. They're getting away. The dandruff, Princess Gladys's dandruff, is in her hair. Leave it to me. <laughs> Well, we managed to make it out of there in one piece, Gladys, baby. Oh, 
But now there's only one thing remains for me to do, and that's to take you back to my castle, marry you ASA to the P, and then tonight we're going to. about the quest. I'm in love. You lot can carry on without me. Me and Gladys can buy a little castle and have lots of little doms. Sorry, if you excuse me. <laughs> what happened to Gladys? Hello? What have we here? Gladys? Is that you? Friend says Gladys has had a frog transmogrification curse placed on her. Yes, as soon as she received a snog from uh, from a man that really loved her, like you, Prince Dom, she's turned into a little frog. <sighs> Typical. You turn princesses into frogs. Shut up. Madison, can you reverse it? Oh, no. <laughs> Virtually impossible to reverse. Oh. Gladys. Hold it. Come back, Gladys. Come back. Hold it. Hold it. With another ingredient successfully found and added to the potion, the quest could continue for our plucky foursome. Alas for Prince Dom, his dream of marrying a beautiful princess was not to be. Don't say that, Gladys. Of course we can make it work. Or was it? Now here's a novel way for you to get involved. We want to know what makes you livid. 